Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, world? Matthew Harrison Allen here. My Facebook is Matthew Harrison. My uh, my Instagram is uh, my Instagram is Storm Grabber. Uh, simple as that. All you do is type. <laughs> all you do is type. Whoo, doggy man, that woman was beautiful. Uh, all you do is type. Uh, Storm grabber, simple as that. No other, uh, no other, nothing else. So I'll greatly appreciate if you follow me on, if you add me on Facebook or if you follow me on Instagram, I will, I will return the favor. Uh, I appreciate you viewing my video. I appreciate any type of comments or likes or anything of the sort that you give or, or whatever. So this is one of my wait what videos. Um, and so I don't want, I'm not, first and foremost, I'm not talking trash and I'm not trying to make anyone look bad because, uh, but there's, there's multiple personalities on fate on YouTube that I really enjoy or, you know, I, I feel related to not because I know the people, not because I, 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 not because I made the people not because I think that they came up because of me not nothing like, not because I think I'm their dad or their brother or anything like that you know but I try to keep my opinions honest and, and I try to shoot from the hip when it comes to uh YouTube so so um there's a uh there's a uh uh, there's a guy on uh, Facebook. His name is Brandon Buckingham. Okay. He made a video called The Dude in Lo in New York or something like that. And that is freaking hilarious. Okay. So first I'm going to name off some of the personalities that I really appreciate on YouTube. One of them is Adam22. I love Adam22. I love his show. I love most of his guests. I get a little wrapped up in it personally. Uh, so... um like I, I try not to get too involved in it personally because I don't want to become that guy who's pointing fingers and who's, uh, who's pointing fingers and, and, um, you know, attacking people's personalities that I've never actually met before. And sorry, this guy's been harassing me for the last 20 minutes or so. Um, so what, so, I, I, I don't want to be that guy. I'd rather say something to someone's face, whoever it is, or, or whatever I feel, or, or try to avoid any type of negativity at all, right? But, so Adam22, I'm a big fan of his channel, his show. Um, Danny Mullen, never met him, but we're literally from like the same street in Sacramento. Yeah, or like, uh, uh, you know, the same area, Citrus Heights, Fair Oaks, um, so that's freaking hilarious. And there's already been some coincidences and I'm, I'm not trying to bite off any of these people just doing shout outs to some of my YouTube role models. And another one is Brandon Buckingham. Like I said, he, he did a couple episodes of, of like, um, like the one about the dude in New York. It was freaking hilarious. It was a little, uh, intent, like a little rude, intimidating to people in my opinion. Like I don't really, I, I think it's a little harsh to like challenge people physically in public and like, but I'll admit the dude in New York was freaking hilarious and, and it was and but, um, and my only advice to him would be if he even wanted it. So he could totally just throw this advice into the dump if he wanted to, but I, I would do like a little less explicit and sexual content. Just because, like, you're a fun... Like, Brandon Buckingham, if you see this, if you watch this, like, you're funny, and you're... You are freaking... You have good personality. You're obviously good-looking. I mean, tons of the women flock to you. Um, but, like, honestly, like, all that sexual and explicit content is honestly kind of unattractive. And I've been on YouTube since before it was even monetized. What the, when I joined YouTube, it was just a little website where you could upload videos and share them online. And, and me and my friend had digital cameras, <coughs> like regular digital cameras that could take like five minute long videos because we had SD cards 
and we used to take videos of us riding in wagons and we wanted a way to share them with each other and share them with people in, at school. And we found out about YouTube. And YouTube exploded and became a mainstream and became an iTunes, uh, an iPhone app. And, and, and I mean, I was grandfathered into monetiza monetization. I, I had every YouTube feature. I had every creator. It was before you were a publisher, before you were a, before you were a, a, a partner or a, or, or a influencer or any of that. It was, I mean, and just because of the fact that my YouTube channel never exploded into millions of views, YouTube eventually stripped me away of all these privileges I had and all these monetization features I had due to my seniority. And they just took them away because my YouTube channel never blew up. Extreme. And I was really, really insulted by that and really, really, really just like, disappointed in Google and YouTube for doing that because I had been with YouTube literally since it was like the same type of site as like, I can't even compare it. Just imagine if you needed, uh, let's say you needed a website to, I can't even think of a good idea, but it was like so small and like, so like, unknown that it would become such a huge thing in American culture and in American advertising and media. It was literally like trying to use, it was like, just use, it was literally just like an upload site, like photo bucket or, or shockwave or just some type of site where all you do is upload media and it gives you a URL. That's all it was when we used it. And it had, it was totally different color schemes and, 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 um, <sighs> It was totally different color schemes and, and, um, and, 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 and just you user interface and all that kind of stuff. And, and, um, and so anyways, it's become a lot more and, and, and I still love YouTube and I still love Google, but that was a hurtful thing that they did when, when I logged on one day and they said, Hey, we took away all your money making features that or the majority of your money making features basically because your YouTube channel doesn't get popular enough. And there was one time I made a YouTube channel. Uh, I mean, I made a YouTube video about fixing this windows update for Dell computers and it got like 20,000 views and I got a hundred dollars from YouTube. And that was the only time I ever got paid through my AdSense. And, um, and, and, um, so, but, and, and, and the other person is Tommy G. I love, I, I, I like I said, t Adam 22, Ra uh, Danny Mullen, Tommy G, Brandon Buckingham, all those dudes are hilarious, great entertainers. I would love to be on all their shows. Now, the reason I'm making this video is I'm not here to critique anyone or, but like, it's funny and, and, and all those guys, their videos are, their channels are successful. That's them. I'm not claiming any right or any, like they are much, their channels and their videos have much more views than mine. And that is, I'm giving them credit. I'm not trying to be a, you know, a, a, a what do they call it? A, uh, um, a, uh, uh, a, uh, clout chaser or anything like that. So, so, but one thing I did notice is so Tommy G makes like biographies or, 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 uh, he makes like documentaries about like the craziest things in the country. Right. And, and, um, and, 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 and that's cool. So he made a, and, and I live in Las Vegas right now. And he made a documentary about the underground mole people of Las Vegas. And right off the bat, I was like, okay, that's a little insulting because usually in Las Vegas, everyone tries to mind their own business and do their own thing and, and not, you know, step on anyone else's toes or, or not, <coughs> you know, not make anyone look bad or anything like that. But I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm not really going to watch it. I don't really care. And then not more than like a year or six months later. And I had already heard stories about Brandon Buckingham, like stealing other people's videos ideas and like 
fall. I see Brandon Buckingham, and it's almost the exact same title and opening frame. And it says the underground mole people of Las Vegas. And it's like, like really? I, I like, I look, I, I, like I said, I cracked up. I laughed. I liked, I, I subscribed to Brandon Buckingham's videos, regardless of the explicit and the sexual content that was offensive to me. And, and then I see, and I heard him making this whole video about people who had accused him of stealing vi other people's videos ideas. And then literally a couple months or weeks after I watched, uh, Tommy G's underground mole people of Las Vegas video, I, I, I see, I see, um, I see him like almost take the exact opening shot and exact frame of of um of underground mole people of las vegas and it's like dude really so that's kind of like wait what there for a second but then i look into it and it turns out i don't even know who but the underground mole people have been having documentaries made about them for the last like five or six years by all different types of channels and, and videographers and documentaries, be it professional or, 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 you know, um, professional or, uh, uh, you know, like, um, amateur or whatever. So that is funny to me that, so I don't know if Tom, like, Tommy G just gets all his inspirations from other documentaries or so does Brandon Buckingham, but it's like, dang guys, here I was, I was trying to, you know, figure it like stick up for someone or, or, or defend someone or find out the truth. And then I come to find out that it's already been played out, but I guess that's the nature of documentaries, right? It's kind of impossible to find your own documentary, but I guess you can. But anyways, I got love for all you guys. I hope you all make good videos and I hope you all have good content and original content and and don't fall victim to any type of silliness like that. But, um, yeah. So, wait, what? 